This video is going to go over all of the parts of the Perkins Light Touch Brailler. The first key on the front face of the Brailler is the line spacing key. This works the same as the enter key on the laptop, as its job is to move one whole line down each time it is pressed. The next button after that is the dot three key, which is responsible for the actual typing of the Braille cell. The dot two key is next, which has the same function as the dot three key. Dot one key is the one immediately next to dot two key, and together the three of these keys form the left side of the Braille cell. The next key is the spacebar, which works the same as the spacebar on a laptop. These next few keys are the dots that form the right side of the Braille cell. The first one after the spacebar is the dot four key. The one after that is the dot five key, and the last one is the dot six key. Here is a picture of the Braille cell and where the according dots line up within it. On the Brailler, the keys are technically backwards because the Braille cell was created before the Brailler, and so the numbers came from the cell itself and had to be translated to work the same way on the Brailler. The next key is the backspace key, which is responsible for moving one whole spot backwards, just like how the backspace key works on a laptop. The next part is called the carriage lever, and it is responsible for the placement of the embossing head. This essentially means that it controls where you're typing next, just like how the cursor on your computer controls where you will be typing. The embossing head is what actually creates and writes the braille when you hit any of the dot keys. The paper feed knobs project out from the left and right sides of the brailler, and they are used for rolling paper into and out of the machine. The paper release levers are two levers that are at the, each end of the brailler on the top surface near the back. If you move one lever forward or backwards, the other moves as well. They are used to secure the paper in place before rolling it into the brailler. They must be lifted up in order to insert the paper into the brailler. The left and right margin stops are used to make the margins for the paper. It is adjustable because the paper can be inserted either vertically or horizontally. It is moved by pinching the two metal pieces together and sliding them either left or right. When there are seven spaces left in the line, a bell will ring to let the user know that they need to move a line down. The Perkins Brailler is a very useful tool for people who are visually impaired, and it helps them to have a form of written communication.